disconnect the battery first, you want to disconnect the negative terminal. Use a 13 millimeter wrench, loosen up the nut, and wiggle this back and forth and set it aside. This cover is going to come off. You may have two fasteners right there, two bolts, um, probably a 10 millimeter socket. This vehicle doesn't have those. Pull those out and then raise up on the cover. There's just a rubber grommet that holds that on. Two rubber grommets. There's a couple 10 millimeter bolts right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take those out. We want to loosen up the screws on the worm clamp right here. Use an eight millimeter socket or even a Phillips head screwdriver. Oops, that one. Sometimes those come out like that. Just loosen that up. And then over here as well. And use some hose clamp pliers or just regular pliers. Move this hose clamp. And slide this off. Just twist it back and forth. If you need to, you can use a pick. We can take this snorkel off, slide it off over here. And slide it off. We'll take this hose off here, use a hose clamp tool or some pliers, slide that up. You can try to twist this off or if you need to use a pick or a screwdriver. Or you can use some hose pliers. Just try to twist this. I'll just get a pick under here. Loosen it up. There we go pull that off. Slide that out of the way. I'm going to take these two lines off. If you want to, block these off because you're going to have some coolant come out of here. I'm just going to use some locking pliers. They do make special pliers for this. Now we're going to take these clamps off. And just slide this back. You have to move the locking pliers. And same with this one. This one's a little harder to get to. And take these hoses off. Just twist them a little bit. Now take this hose off right here. If there's a clamp, just move it down. Slide that off. Just to get a little room, I'm just going to pop this off right here where the wire is so we can move this out of the way. Just use a screwdriver. And then there's a retainer right here that's holding this hose on. We want to pop that retainer off. Just get under here with a trim tool. Just try to pry this up. Go. Oh, some of the plastic's a little brittle, so you might have to replace that. And there's a bracket right here. Just pop the wire conduit off here. Just move that out of the way. There's a connector on the back here. We want to pop that connector off. Push down on the connector. 
slide that off. This is just going to slide back here. Just keep that out of the way. Just see what this hose is. Oh, there's another hose here. We want to slide this connector off this bracket. I'm just going to push down and just slide the connector off. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. It slides off and out of the way. And then I'm going to take this bracket off. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. There's a hose that goes right here. It goes over to the brake booster. You can see that. So we're gonna disconnect that over here. Use some uh, hose clamp pliers. Move that hose clamp. It's kinda hard to see. Move those down. And use a 12 millimeter socket to take this bolt out. You can just slide this out and put it aside. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on the tab and slide it out. And there's a bracket on the side right here. Use a 12 millimeter socket or even a ratchet wrench. And take those two bolts out. There's one here and then one further back. Once you get them loose, they come out pretty easy. I'm going to take this bracket out of the way just so everything clears a little bit easier. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out. And the bracket's attached down below and we'll just slide it just out of the way. That's good. Now we're going to take the nuts and bolts out. For the intake, use a 10 millimeter socket. There's one in the way back here. And be careful, try not to drop them. There's a couple hidden ones in here, so don't forget those.
Get all of them. And grab the intake and just slide it up out of the way. Disconnect this connector right here. You can just push down on the tab and slide it off. It's not sliding off. If you have to, you can use a pick or a screwdriver. Just get in there, slide that off. And there's three bolts up on top. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take those bolts off. this up and there should be a gasket attached just like that and just take a rag and a little brake parts cleaner and just wipe this down if there's any gasket material on there you want to remove it you could use a razor razor blade or a scraper That looks good. That one right here. Take the new solenoid. Now, it does make a difference whether you use the right one or the left one. The, the one that goes on the passenger side has the ear on this side. The one on the driver's side is opposite. And make sure you have the gasket. Slide the bolts in place. Get this lined up. Get the bolts started. And now we'll torque these bolts to eight foot-pounds. Take the connector, line it up. and lock it down in place. In all the ports for the intake, you could take a blow gun and just make sure nothing fell in there. You can take a look down in there, get any dirt out of there. And then take some brake parts cleaner and a rag and just wipe this down, make sure it looks nice and smooth, make sure there's no gasket material on there at all. When you take the intake off, you're going to want to replace these gaskets. You take a small pick, get underneath the gasket, and then put the new gasket in its place. When that's all set, just line this back up the same way it came off. You're going to go over the studs. Like 
that. Make sure you didn't crush anything in the back. Now we'll take all the nuts and bolts. Get these all started. Before we tighten those down, make sure you get these started on this side, just so it's lined up in the right position. And we're not going to tighten them down, just put them in loosely. We'll tighten them later. Now snug these down first, working from the center outward. Now we're going to do two passes. The first pass, we're going to torque these to five foot-pounds, working from the center out. And then go back again, adjust your torque wrench to 21 foot-pounds. And working from the center outwards. Now I'll tighten these down. That's good. Now I'll take the brake booster vacuum hose 
and slide that over the fitting. Use some hose clamp pliers, put that back. Line this bracket up. Take the two bolts, get those started. Tighten this down. Reattach the wires where you can attach them. Reattach this hose on this fitting right here. This one's a little broken. And if there was a clamp, put the clamp back on. Attach these coolant hoses. Then you can take the pliers off and move the clamps. Reconnect the throttle body, lock it in place in this bracket, slide that in position, put the two screws in, tighten those down. This hose is going to go over here. Connect that and slide the clamp down. Any wires that came unattached, re-secure those. Looks good. What else? Now reinstall the solenoid in this canister. Put the correct bolts in. Tighten those down. Attach the vacuum hoses. The shorter one's gonna go right here. And the longer one's gonna go over to the intake. If that went like that, if that went like that. I feel like that was like that. All right. Now reinstall the solenoid in this canister the correct bolts in. Tighten those down. Attach the vacuum hoses. The shorter one's gonna go right here. And the longer one's gonna go over.
to the intake. Reconnect the connector and lock it down. Install the snorkel. And over the throttle body. Make sure this bolt lines up. There should be two. Put those both in. Tighten the bolt down. And tighten the other one down as well. And tighten these down. Just snug, same with this one. And just make sure they're snug, that looks good. Take this hose, it's gonna slide over here. And move the clamp. Take this top. Slide it over the, the studs with the grommets locked down and put those two bolts in, snug them down. Connect the battery. And tighten it down, make sure it's snug.